No doubt had a lot to talk about Friday night. Our Paige Dower caught up with the man behind the mic after the Vols set the SEC record for the best start ever in league play. Thanks, Zach. Yeah, I'm here with John Wilkerson, the voice of the Diamond Vols inside the VFL film room, here to talk all things Tennessee baseball. They obviously broke their own 1951 record against Florida last week for the best start in SEC play, now sitting at 17 and 1. If we zoom out and we really take a good look at what they just did against Florida, how impressive is the start and what they've been able to do this season? Well, just to be the first one ever to do it, Paige, is fantastic. But then what it took to clear that last hurdle, because you could say, okay, tied with the 51 balls at 16 and one, it was an uphill climb that entire last game against Florida. It really was impressive. And that's one thing this team has done time and time again, either doing things that Tennessee baseball hasn't done in a long time or that nobody has done ever. And it's been so much fun to watch because they're having so much fun accomplishing it. Of course, we have to talk about that last game against Florida. It was a crazy game going into extra innings. And part of the reason why they were able to get that win is because of their freshmen, specifically Christian Moore. And he was the freshman player of the week, the fourth ball freshman to get such honor. There's a ball driven into left center field, way back and back, and it is gone. How important is it that they're able to get such production out of their freshman class, which you don't really find all the time, especially in baseball? Yeah, you certainly don't. But you've been able to see these guys step up when it's been their time. And, uh, and I mean, you can start first with the pitching staff because you've had a freshman that's led every weekend off with Chase Burns. And then you've had Drew Beam. Coach B will talk about how it's always all about Sunday. So Drew Beam has pitched every game three. Then you flip to the lineup and you've got Jared Dickey. He has been somebody who you could lead off with and have that kind of trust. He's also very versatile. He's been the DH. He's been in the outfield. He's been a catcher. And then you have Christian Moore, who you're talking about, had all the heroics on Sunday with he was on base already once before in the game and then comes up with the two run single that ties it with two out in the ninth and then provides the winning hit with that two run home run in the 11th. Just amazing to watch how calm, cool and collected he was with the opportunity. He's just been somebody. It's been so much fun to watch him develop and grow and mature. And this team has a lot of momentum. They're building that momentum again, winners of their last seven. Now they're getting ready to face Auburn for a three game series. And as we inch closer and closer to May, these SEC series are ever more important. How crucial, though, is this Auburn series at home this week? Well, Auburn is somebody who historically has been a thorn in Tennessee's side when it comes to baseball. Got it. Well, in fact, right now there are two teams that Tony Vitello does not have a series win against. One of them's Arkansas, the other is Auburn. I think this is a team that is one playing awfully well, but it's also a one that Tennessee is very motivated to beat. I'll say this, if Tennessee wasn't being so dominant, Auburn would be getting a lot more attention for being the biggest and best, most pleasant surprise in the Western Division. Certainly, John, I appreciate the time today. Thanks, Paige. No problem, Zach.